Hi YouTube, welcome back. I just went ahead and upload upload one right now about cyber security and I was talking about a little bit about in there about a two-step verification of the code and I wanted to make a one called the two-step verification code video because I forgot to mention a couple of things in that one because I took up a little time so I wanted to do it in this one. The two-step verification code is nice but it can also be a pain in the butt. Alright, and I'll explain both reasons why it's nice and why it's a pain at times. But you got to follow these simple steps to become easy as smooth as possible to leave that pain part out so it'll be nice and smooth and easy for y'all. What that two-step verification code is, do it on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got, especially your Google. Now, that's your main one. That powers a lot of shit on your phone. Google is your main of your Android. What you do is add a two-step verification code by... Going into your settings and stuff, adding your phone number, backup email, backup phone number. Sometimes they'll allow you to do one number. Sometimes they'll allow you to do two. Same with emails. Whatever they ask for, do it. But here's the key catch. Because my wife has done this by accident. And she had to start a different account because of this problem. Because it will lock you out if, you don't, if they send that code to your phone and you can't receive that code. And I'll tell you how they would do that. When you go to turn the verification on, they'll send you a code to your phone. Where if it's number or letter, type it in like they tell you. If verified, you're good. Make darn sure when you get a new phone number, like if you go out and buy a new phone at Walmart or wherever, prepaid or otherwise, contract. Before your airtime runs out of your old phone, before your old phone number becomes disconnected, you go in and turn that all them social medias, whatever you got, eBay, Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo, whatever it is you got. Turn them verification codes off. Okay. Then when you get your new phone number, then you edit your old one out and add your new one. Then you turn it back on. Then it will send your code to your new phone. Just like an email. If you close that account and want a new email, always add your new email before you close your other one out. Because if not, your account become locked. So that's why I wanted to make this video because it could be a headache, but then it could also be nice against cyber crooks. That's what I had to do because some of my accounts got hacked. And... I took the next step to strengthen it. But check out my cybersecurity video. It's uploaded now. Hopefully it goes because it's over 15 minutes long. I'm going to make this one this long. You know, I just want to talk to you about the short two-step verification code. But type it in. A lot of times, they, if it's letters, a lot of times they would do capitals. But do like they tell you to do, to verify it. Anytime you get a new number, edit your old one out before it becomes discontinued because the only way you can get that code back on your old one is put minutes back on your old phone to get it turned on long enough to do it. That's going to cost money. So believe me, I know what this is like. My wife has done it before and didn't know what to do but started another account at times. But that's why I got my password book that I got put up and hidden. You know, I put but next to every one of them, BC, that means verification code. Now, like Yahoo, they got two of them. It's called a key code or verification. A lot of times your verification don't work because the key code is basically the same damn thing. So I used a key code, so I marked that one a lot of times. KC for key code. So I know which ones to turn off, which ones stuff to fix if I ever had to edit anything. But other than that, that's all it is to have two-step verification codes. If you do it right, do it smart, and don't goof off. You won't lock or lose your accounts. You know, do it the right way. But, you know, until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial on the two-step verification code. When that cybersecurity gets uploaded, this will be the next thing getting uploaded today. My wife's at physical therapy for her shoulder because she might have to get surgery done. Because she tore a rotor cup in it. 
because she fell a couple times over the winter and plus had other stuff wrong with it. So they're wanting to do physical therapy before surgery and then surgery then physical therapy probably after. So I got a chance today to make two videos. You're lucky. But till the next time, take care of each other. Be careful out there with cybersecurity attackers. Follow my simple advice of steps. If you don't, I'm not, you know, responsible for anything that may have happened to you. If you don't listen, you come crying back later. I'm truthful on everything. I'm honest. What I know, I studied up on security, so I know um, I'm pretty much a mastermind of this security shit. But, you know, tap that notification bell, smash that thumbs up, give me a lot of likes, that right, will help. And, you know, just do the two-step verification code. And, you know, if anybody hacks shit, it can still be probably overworked. But see, anytime, I forgot to tell you too, anytime you do a password or sign up for new accounts, they have what they call two on the internet. Password and email generators and stuff, different generators to pull shit up, but that's how hackers are getting away with it too, so that's why you need that two-step verification. You gotta stay one step of them so they don't get two or three steps ahead of you or they're gonna end up winning this shit and you're gonna end up losing. Once your ID's lost, it's lost for good. It's rare getting it back. You can, but you're gonna fight like hell to do it. Probably pay some money to do it too. But, you know, Protect each, each other, yourself, and everybody else around you. And your family members, your loved ones, don't give your accounts to nobody. Maybe give them to your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, if you can trust them. If you can't, keep it to yourself. But, um, you know, I trust my wife, she trusts me, so we're good with that. But till the next time, this is Hot Devil, 197782gmail.com, signing off. But, Smash that notification bell, thumbs me up, give me a lot of smashes, you know, smash that thumbs up, tap that notification. Till the next time, this is Hot Devil197782 at gmail.com signing off. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll be glad to help anybody. You know, I can help, but talk to y'all later. Thanks out, peace out, take care. Love y'all, see you next time on YouTube World. Hope you like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.